the patient in supine, flex the patient's knee to approximately 90 degrees with the foot flat on the table. With the patient's permission, stabilize the leg by sitting on the foot. With both hands holding behind the tibia, pull the tibia anteriorly. Increased translation compared to the unaffected side indicates a partial or complete tear of the ACL. Slocum's test can also be performed to test for rotary instability. To test for anterior medial instability, place the tibia in approximately 15 degrees of external rotation and repeat the same procedure. The tibia is placed in approximately 30 degrees of internal rotation to test for anterolateral instability.